to talk a bit, maybe more than a bit, about what this filthy bastard, uh, Donald Christ God Jesus Trump, did at the Arlington National Cemetery. You know, that, that picture of him standing with people with tombstones around them and Trump with that shit-eating trademarked grin of his with his goddamn thumb up. It, it, it's just disgusting. And military veterans now are, and the military leadership is really starting to feel the insult that this filthy Donald Trump perpetrated against the people lying in those graves. I mean, if you look at that that photo, it's just so fucking disgusting. There he is standing on top of dead people with his goddamn thumb in the air. And that grin on his face. Well, now it turns out that Mike Johnson, the Christian fascist speaker of the House, um, according to the website, the New Civil Rights Movement, Johnson pulled strings to get the filthy bastard into the cemetery to begin with. Uh, And despite federal law that prohibits using that area, referred to so many times as hallowed resting place of almost half a million of the nation's service members, federal law prohibits using that place for political purposes. But Trump doesn't give a goddamn about that stuff, nor does Mike Johnson, nor does any Christian fascist. They don't care if it will further the filthy career of this goddamn Donald Trump. They don't care what he shits on, what he corrupts, what he destroys. It makes no difference. And then, you know, this past Monday, when the orange bastard photographed, filmed, released a video across multiple social media platforms showing him standing there with his goddamn face hanging out with that shit-eating grin and his thumb in the air. This convicted felon standing on the graves of dead soldiers. Now, you know my feeling, because I've made it clear over the years, my feeling about war. What is it good for? I think that was a song back in the 70s, right? Absolutely nothing. Who does it benefit? Just the undertaker. Okay, all that's true. But once people do die, give up their lives ostensibly for this country, and they're buried with ceremony, and they're respected, and then you have this filthy pig Donald Trump come sloshing his gross body to stand on top of graves with his fucking thumb in the air? Man, man, there he was standing among these headstones, grinning. I'm reminded of the opening scenes of Saving Private Ryan, which was an incredible movie. You know, after the opening scenes where the family is approaching a gravesite, in what is supposed to be a, a, a national cemetery. I, I don't know if it's, uh, I, I don't think it's Arlington, but a national cemetery. Hell, there's one here in Atlanta, in Marietta, one of the suburbs of Atlanta. But in that opening scene, where a middle-aged or older man approaches a gravesite and his family hangs back, and the man kind of kneels down, And then the movie, in terms of a flashback for the man standing there, the movie unfolds. And the movie closes with the man at the gravesite again, as if only a few moments had passed. And when I heard about Trump invading Arlington National Cemetery, I thought about that opening and closing scene in Saving Private Ryan. And how it affected me. I cannot watch that movie. And I've seen it three or four times. I cannot watch it without getting tears in my eyes, a lump in my throat, a sense of just terrible anguish that 
it just rolls over me because the scene includes includes countless white crosses and a few white stars of David into the horizon of all the people who have died in war on our side. But there, this past Monday, stood this bloated fucking horror, Donald Trump, with his thumb in the air. And it has... It has affected affected me negatively, progressively, more intensely, as the week rolled on. Until here we are at Friday, and I just, I can't believe the shit that has, that this orange bastard has, has, has committed. The initial act, and how people are reacting. The U.S. Department of the Army oversees and maintains Arlington National Cemetery. And according to a Washington Post report, either, I guess it was yesterday morning or Wednesday night, quote, Pentagon officials were deeply concerned about the former president turning the visit into a campaign stop, but they also didn't want to block him from coming, according to the Defense Department officials, and internal messages reviewed by the, uh, by the Washington Post. Officials said, the Post goes on, they wanted to respect the wishes of grieving family members who wanted Trump there, but at the same time, they were wary of Trump's record of politicizing the military. So officials laid out ground rules they hoped would wall off politics from the final resting place of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for this nation. End quote. Now, if I were a smart ass, I would say, yeah, okay, how'd that work out? Well, we know how it worked out. There was this grinning fucking monkey standing there with his thumb in the air. So, according to the website, the new civil rights movement. Trump's team was told he could attend only in his personal capacity and that campaign staff members were not allowed. (laughs) Yeah. But regardless of that, it doesn't make any difference. These fuckers don't care about anything except their own power. This goddamn Stephen Miller who works with Trump is like a, a, a little... Goebbels or Himmler, uh, the, the Nazi high command. They don't give a damn about anything except a personal power that they will use to destroy this republic. So some of his top campaign official sta- uh, campaign staffers attended Monday's event despite the rules put out by the cemetery officials, U.S. Department of Army of the Army, also in attendance were several Republican politicians, including this grimy son of a bitch, this Mormon, the governor of Utah, I mentioned him yesterday, Spencer Cox. And Spencer Cox immediately developed a campaign for re-election video showing him with Trump desecrating the graves of these dead soldiers as they walked over them and stood on top of them with their fucking thumbs up. Yeah, I get angry. The Post also reported this, Washington Post, quote, no hats, no signs, no banners were allowed, according to military officials. No speeches. Reporters and photographers could follow Trump for a ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown, but not to the 14-acre plot where veterans from recent wars are buried, known as Section 60. The media was kept away, unable to see the altercation or anything else for that matter during that part of the visit, end quote. Now, that's the part of the visit where Trump's Nazi entourage pushed cemetery workers, get the fuck out of my way, I'm here with their Fuhrer. Get out of my way. 
and push them and curse them. <sighs> Deep breath, Mike, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, the altercation, reportedly, according to the Post, the Times, um, independent media uh, sources, that so-called altercation reportedly involved a cemetery official who, who later filed a report saying that Trump's team verbally and physically assaulted her. Well, of course it was a woman. If it would have been a man, these little rats and cockroaches would have kept their fucking mouths shut, tucked their tails between their legs and do what they were told. But it was a woman. You know, the Trump organization's filthy contempt for women. Oh, grab by the pussy. They really like that, especially if you're famous. <laughs> A guy who was found guilty of sexual assault. This woman, the cemetery official, had said, no, she's not going to press charges. Do you know why? Because she's afraid of retaliation from Trump's supporters. That's according to the New York Times. This fucking bum has got to be removed from from the political scene, for sure. And here's the thing. Once this orange filth is removed from the political scene, he will wither and die because he cannot stand not being the center of attention. And hopefully he will wither and die in a fucking orange jumpsuit. And then the Trump campaign, as usual, they den deny all of this. The Post, the Times, NBC, ABC, CBS, independent news sources, the woman herself, all of them, according to Stephen Chung, who is Trump's spokes Nazi, they're all lying. Which is another SOP for the Trump Nazi organizations. Deny everything. Nothing happened except what we tell you happened. And Stephen Chung said that the reason the cemetery official is not going to press charges, quote, is ridiculous and sounds like someone who has Trump derangement syndrome, end quote because she's afraid of the retaliation from pieces of walking human excrement like Stephen Chung. The Post, New York Post, I'm sorry, Washington Post added this, the cemetery employee, this is a quote, tried to enforce the rules as provided to her by blocking Trump's team from bringing cameras to the graves of U.S. service members killed in recent years according to senior defense official and other persons briefed on the incident, a larger male campaign aide insisted the camera was allowed and pushed her aside, leaving her shocked. End quote. Uh, and then... This neo-fascist publication, online publication, The Daily Caller, that was one established by, you know, that little shit that used to be on uh, on the Fox sewer. I can never remember his name. There's a reason for that. But The Daily Caller reports Monday's event, quote, would have happened with, would not have happened without Speaker Johnson, end quote. This is what the caller, Daily Caller, said, um, quote, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson had to intervene to get former President Donald Trump into Arlington National Cemetery for the third anniversary of the Afghanistan with withdrawal, a family told the Daily Caller, end quote. And that particular source who got on the blower to the Daily Caller, I guess, that source also reportedly said, quote, Arlington Cemetery officials claimed the families didn't want any media, photography, or videography at Section 60 
contradicting what the families had actually requested. The families were fine with the media designated by the Trump team, but Arlington kept pushing back, obstructing the process, end quote. Why, what else would you hear on a Nazi site like the Daily Caller? A filthy fascist organization who supports people like the dictator of Hungary and the dictator of Turkey. Jesus Christ. Um, New York Times, though, disagrees. New York Times reports this, quote, the family of a Green Beret who died by suicide after serving eight combat tours and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery expressed concern on Wednesday that Donald J. Trump's campaign had filmed his gravesite without permission as Mr. Trump stood in an area where campaign photography is not allowed. Relatives of Master Sergeant Andrew Marcusano issued their statement two days after Mr. Trump's visit. And then the Times continues, quote, Sergeant Marcusano died on July 7th, 2020, after moving to Washington to begin a job at the Pentagon. He had three children, and friends said he had chronic post-traumatic stress disorder from his time in combat. He earned silver and bronze stars during his service. His gravesite is adjacent to that of Staff Sergeant Darren Taylor Hoover, a Marine who was killed in the 2021 bombing at Abbey Gate outside the Kabul airport in Afghanistan, end quote. And the Times goes on to report that while the Hoover family gave Trump permission to photograph them, the Marcusano family did not. Yet the Marcusano family, quote, was shown in photos from the visit that were published online, a video posted to Mr. Trump's TikTok account featuring footage from the Section 8 visit and the gravestones from behind with narration criticizing the handling of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021, end quote, which is a repetitious political garbage line from the Trump campaign. And I'm sure the family, the Hoover family that gave permission had no fucking idea that the death of their loved one was going to be used in a campaign fundraising video from a rotten bastard who managed to escape combat because he had what did he have? Six times, six times when he was called by the draft. He got a phony fucking report from a doctor someplace who owed his father something that Donald Trump had bone spurs in his feet. He's got bone spurs in his fucking head, in his brain. It, it, it's just... So rotten, so disgusting, so contemptible that this orange pig, this filthy, filthy, degenerate man, that I call him man advisedly, Daniel Christ God Jesus Trump, had the the audacity, but but this is Trump. Trump has no fucking respect or consideration for other people, whether they're alive or dead or injured or physically challenged. He doesn't give a fuck. He wants everybody to have perfect body and mind like he does. I'll give you a moment to chew that one around. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me... Mike Malloy 
can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.